Rejoice, O heavens, and exalt, O earth, for our Lord will come to show mercy to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, creator and redeemer of human nature, who willed that your word should take flesh in an ever virgin womb, look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob, Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, show your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you, Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion, incumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the mace between his legs. While the tribute is brought to him and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Justice shall flourish in his time and the fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in time and with the fullness of peace forever. O oh God, with your judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountains shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace shall the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. O wisdom of our most, O wisdom of our God most high, guiding cre creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. Alleluia. Alleluia. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rehab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been a wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph, Asaph the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of jo Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel, Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel the father of Abiud, Abiud became the father of Eliakim, Eliakim the father of Azol, Azol the father of Zadok, Zadok became the father of Akim, Akim the father of Eliud, Eliud the father of Eleazar, Eleazar became the father of Mathan, Mathan the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Today we begin the second half of our Advent season, which is about the first coming of our Lord to us in the flesh. Accordingly, the gospel narrates the genealogy of Jesus. It was common among the Jews of that time to value the genealogy of someone. They placed a great importance on keeping the genealogy of each person in order to keep the purity of their lineage. If in any man there was a slightest admixture of foreign blood, he or she lost his right to be called a Jew and a member of the people of God. So Matthew didn't want this to happen to Jesus. That's, that's why he begins his gospel with a genealogy. He stressed the fact that Jesus was the son of David and his descendants can be traced back to Abraham and even Adam. And this also stresses the fact that Jesus was the son of man. It stresses the human nature of Jesus. As we know, Jesus had two natures, the divine and human. Now this stresses the human nature. Interesting to note is the fact that within the lineage of Jesus, there were people of bad reputation or who had messed up in one way or the other. Rahab, for instance, was a harlot of Jericho. Ruth belonged to an alien and a hated people. 
Tamar was a deliberate seducer and an, an adulteress, as read from the book of Genesis, chapter 38. Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, was a woman whom David seduced from Uriah, a husband with an unforgivable quality. You remember the story. So we can go on and on, but the bottom line is this. Jesus had sinners in his family line. Nobody is perfect, and so we should take heart that Jesus came to save sinners like us. Amen. As we prepare our hearts for Christmas coming, for Christ's coming, we present our petitions to the Father. For all members of the church, may the light of Christ remove all darkness and sin from our midst. We pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may the justice and mercy of the Holy Spirit guide them in their service to their people. We pray to the Lord. For families and communities whose members are estranged from one another, may Christ bring them healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may the grace we receive this Advent help us to bear good fruit during the Christmas season. We pray to the Lord. For all who have gone before us in the faith, especially Julieta Cardero, for whom this Mass is offered. May they receive their final inheritance in Christ's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. For the special petitions that we present in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for sending your Son into the world as one like us so that we could become your adopted sons and daughters. Hear and answer our prayers. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that it may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, Eduardo, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Our Savior is commanded and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, the desire of all the nations will come, and the house of the Lord will be filled with glory. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who pour about the word, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day. Thank you.